What's up, what's up guys, my name is Aaron, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a song, a project, that is uh, long overdue. I've been asked to do this for about a few weeks now by an audience member, a viewer. Uh, shout out to you. Thank you for waiting. And this one is called Physical by Dua Lipa. This song is a large project. The project took about maybe close to 150 tracks, and because of that... Uh, my computer was struggling to give me some playback. So what I did was I organized each type of instrument into a bus, as I usually do with most other projects that I do anyway. Um, but this time it would enable me to actually manage the CPU consumption of my computer by turning on and off the number of active tracks, and I am doing that by group and by bus. Now, if I need to ref reference uh, one of this uh, the song as a whole I can only do it through the full mix unfortunately it's going to be very difficult for my computer to be able to process all these tracks at one time as it would constantly give me the disk or system overload or disk is too slow error that we hate to see in logic so without any further ado I'm actually going to start at the you know what? I'm gonna play the intro I'm gonna play the intro um, go over just the synth that's going on in the intro. Then we're going to jump over to the final course, mainly because that's where everything that's happening in the stems in the project is all coming together. Um, that's where we can get the most um, of all the activity going on at the same time. So let's go ahead and just listen real quick to the uh, to the intro. <laughs> That motif, those tw the first 12 seconds of this song just establish everything you need to know. Establish all that you need to know. Um, sets the mood. Obviously, this is kind of like sounding like we're writing a story, which when you're writing songs, that's what you're kind of doing. Uh, these here, this is the primary driver of the song. The flute and the prophet synth will constantly appear in the big parts of the song. As you can as you can hear, the, also I forgot to mention the stems are not mixed or processed. So I got them as is and sort of leveled them accordingly. Uh, kind of tried to match them a little bit closer to the original uh, to the final mix uh, than when I just downloaded them. So. So the flute and the prophet, which is the pulsing synth that you hear in the beginning, that's going to show up all the time. It's going to show up constantly in this song. Okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and jump into the final chorus. Right. That's got everything. That's the entire package right there. In those final 24 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Math isn't important right now, but let's take a look at each bus one by one. I'm gonna break down the drums first. Uh, there are a lot of tracks, but a lot of them are also just doubles. So let's let's dive in. So um, here you have seven tracks. All of them are kicks. Now what I don't know is if each one of these kick layers actually made it into the final mix. Um, they are listed as options. And then you have the main one right here. But it doesn't sound like in the final mix the main is the only kick that's going on. But this is what the kicks all sound like. I'd be willing to bet that most, if not all of them, got mixed in together, but 
again, I don't know. I'm not sure what to tell you there. Um, so those are all the kicks that are happening. Now we can go ahead and add the snares. Add the snares and, and actually claps. We can add a snare fill in there as well. So this here. So you have a lot of effects going on with the claps as well. These claps here, if I can get it to solo, solo out, these claps here, the only ones that serve um, a double clap uh, on the fourth on the fourth one. Actually, this one as well. Yeah, so that's going on. Um, let's see if we can find the effects. I think these are the effects right here. There's a sweep as well, and um, I'm not sure where they're coming from. Yeah, the sweep is coming from this guy. Is this what it is? Yeah. So, we will play this together with all the kicks as well. And then you also, oh, the hats are very, quite active actually. Sounds like a house sort of vibe. Oh, that layer of percussion is real nice right there. This sounds like a splice loop. Ah, I wish I knew off the top of my head which splice loop this was, but it, it really sounds like a splice loop. That's cool. So you got that going on as well. Let's get the tom fills. Huge, huge tom fill. So yeah, this is pretty much what's going on in the drum bus. There are a couple of other things that have happened um, before, beforehand, but this is the, fi uh, the final chorus. As, you, as I mentioned earlier, um, this is not mixed, so obviously the final version is going to sound a little bit different, but these are pretty much the drums that are being used. Let's move on to the bass. The bass is going to be real short. It's just pulsing, pulsing in uh, long notes. called Bass Carpenter. I don't know if that's a preset or if that's a plugin. If that is a plugin, I've never heard of it. Yeah, the sub is basically just pulsing as well. It's it sounds like a sharp tooth sharp uh, saw. It it I said tooth. It's like a sharp saw. <laughs> uh, that's what it sounds like uh, to me. And it's just pulsing, plucking real hard. Um, not much else there. Let's take a listen to the synths. There's a lot going on in the synths for sure. <laughs> Yeah, 
so um, you have what we were looking at at the beginning, the pulsing. This is pretty much the main motif of the song. And then you are greeted with a lot of layers. These are the layers we're looking at. Oh, uh, the riff Moog is doubling the flute. This is what this is what's happening right here. I I actually am not entirely sure even what uh, flute is being used there. Uh, if it's if it's um if it's a VST, I'd love to find it. sounds like a really classic um, analog synth type of pad going on it sounds real nice it, it's kind of like I don't know forever young maybe um, I'm referencing that also because it's in the same key but obviously the song vibes are totally different <laughs> sidechained This final melody right here. It's tucked in nicely in the in the final mix. It shows itself in certain areas of that little short period of time. Um, it, it really, you can hear it if you're looking for it, um, especially when the vocals drop out. So that's going on with the synths. Um, Let's move on to whatever's going on in the guitars. The guitars mainly serve as rhythm and effects. Um, they could essentially be included in the synth um, bus as well, but this is what we're getting with the guitars. <laughs> That picking is basically following the, um, the, um, what do you call it? The, the, the pulsing synth in the beginning. The, uh, was it a Moog? I already forgot. But it's following, it's following, uh, oh no, it's the Prophet. It's following this guy. Right here. It's pretty much that. just doubled up on guitar that's all that that is so the guitars don't really have too much uh, going on maybe the the interest the most interesting part is the guitar shots that are happening right here they already just don't sound like guitars but it's just like one I mean they do but they sound like um, they sound a little bit further away from a guitar uh, than a synth so those are the guitars. Let's go on to the effects. Effects, far and few between. Mainly just impacts, risers. So you have that. And then you have this crowd. Which they also had a, 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 a sort of noisy ambience of people in uh, an, another Dua Lipa song that I covered a while back, which is Don't Start Now. Um, so that seems to be a recurring theme. 
Let's go ahead and take a listen to this whip. That's an odd one that I would have never really thought to include if I were producing this song, but it works. It's a nice little Easter egg. Strings. I love the strings on this song. I think they are incredibly well written. Um, ah. You know what? I'm going to go back and actually visit all these parts of the strings right here where they happen in, uh, I guess, the second verse, second chorus. Let me mute this one. That is so crazy. We're going to revisit this part uh, briefly, but I, I love that. I love that string writing. It's it's like the scales. It's, a, it's simply a scale. That's all that they're adhering to. Um, but it's the performance and the articulation that they've either programmed into it or written and baked into it. Um, I feel like you could accomplish that with some uh, program strings, um, but programming strings also is kind of a pain in the butt. So now let's take a listen to uh, Dulipa's vocals. It seems like okay, because that's a bridge. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. Okay, Dulipa's main vocals right here. Oh, come on. So I really like the way that she performs the lead on this, and I think it fits perfectly. Lights out, follow the noise, baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got a choice. There is one here, which is the hook double, where if you listen to the performance of it, there's a lot more power and rasp. Lights out, follow the noise. Baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got a choice. So come up. That could also be the processing, but I like the way that she performed the the hook isolated better. But I think the the, the lead uh, fits the context of the song more. Come up, come up, let's get physical. Yeah, I like what they did with the 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 hook and double. Now uh, the lead vocal effects. This is like a long reverb going on. <laughs> And, and delays. Yeah, so that's going on as well. Um, we also have the lead pitch down. Uh, this is her performing it actually at a lower octave. I don't think it was like alter, but little, they didn't use a little alter boy or anything like that. Lights out and follow the noise Baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got a choice So come on, come on, come on Let's get physical I mean, man, that's that's really a difficult part of the register to hit Like that low go, Come on this is, She's trying to hit a, a very low A for her Lights out and follow the noise Baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got a choice So come on Oof, man, oh You could tell that either she was struggling Or the tune, the, the vocal tuning was struggling Or whoever was doing that Um, But it still works It still totally works I mean, if you're trying to go that low Obviously, like, it's gonna be a struggle for anybody So, can't really blame her for that So it sounds like she was joined in with a couple of other people with the gang vocals. Um, so this is the lead. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on the back uh, backup vocals. So this is everyone that's not Dua Lipa on this song. Um, no processing. It's very dry. Um, but let's take a listen. Lights out. Follow the noise. Baby, keep on dancing. And also, there's absolutely no width. Everything is in mono and everything's panned to the center. Um, but you, you don't really hear this in the song, so it's it's more for texture than anything. Dancing like you ain't got a choice. Come on, come on, 
Come on, let's get physical. So those are the backup and backup vocals. Uh, nothing really to go over there. How many people did they have? That's a lot of people, or a lot of uh, a lot of part, uh, a lot of uh, doubles and few people. Yeah. Okay. So we're on the sorry. We're on the vocal effects bus. Um, this is gonna be everything from throws to delays, uh, verbs, vocoders, all that stuff. Chops. Yeah, that reverse vocal was tight right there. That's cool. Filters. That's also cool. What do we have here? Ah, uh, this one you can definitely hear throughout the song. It's 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 in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, eight different parts. I don't know how to count. Okay. <laughs> Ah, that's so cool. Right here. Ah, that's so cool. I love that. I love that little part. Um, what's going on with the crazy verb? Uh, th this part really cuts off a little bit early um, on most of these parts, or on most of these chops. Yeah, so th th these are just more effects going on. It's like using them for reverse and build up. Come on, let's get physical. Hold on, just a little tighter. Come on. There, th this is great for um, like the acapella. You can hear all the effects and production that go into it, and it's a lot of stuff. It's probably uh, how many tracks are we looking at here? This. It's 97 to 155. We're looking at m minus three. So you're looking at a little over 50 total vocal tracks that are happening on here. Baby, keep on dancing. Let's get physical. All night, I'll ride with you. I know you got my back and you know I got you, so come on. It's big, it's fun. It sounds like you're with the, with the homies just singing all this together. Come on, let's get physical Lights out, follow the noise Baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got a choice So come on, come on, come on, come on Let's get physical See, there's, there's a part here Let's get physical the little drop, the little, um, the little slow down. It sounds like it's, it, and you, I don't hear it in the final mix. So that kind of throws me off. I don't know if it's really just that tucked in. Yeah, that's so weird. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. I guess the thing is the the phys the delayed physicals, um, where it's like physical, physical, is that part. If I can, is if it's showing up here or does it show up in the main vocal bus? Baby, keep on dancing like you ain't got Come on, let's get physical. Is it? Oh, let me see. Let's get physical. Okay, so it's coming from here. Yeah, that's so, that's that's so weird, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much uh, we we took a look at pretty much everything uh, in these stems. Um, there are a few parts that show up earlier in the song um, that don't make it to the end. Like we have these, just for example, just this. It's called Bass Swell Electro. Whatever this may be. Yeah, it's a very short, very short little effect. Um, 
that doesn't make its way into the end because there's no transitions really going on at the end. Um, synths. Here, let's take a, th this portion of the video is now just going to be taking a look at different parts of the song or the stems that we didn't get to see earlier in the song. So here, this is the original. I mean, the final. Don't you agree? Just, just a little moog that's happening right here. Just this moog. It's just a pulsing synth that happens uh, specifically to the second verse that don't happen anywhere else. That won't happen anywhere else. Uh, guitars is, again, probably more like I can't even hear this one in the final mix either. Yeah, let me just hear. Don't you agree? Ah, you can hear it. You can kind of hear it. You can hear like the the tail end of the verb, but you don't hear like the the strumming of the guitar. Don't you agree? Yeah, you can you can sort of hear it, but I mean, obviously, again, that's just for textural purposes. Uh, let's see what else effects. I feel like we I feel like effects have been covered really. Um, the strings. Oh, I I want to go over one part of the strings. Um, I think the these sparse string writings and arrangements is probably like my favorite part of the song when diving into the stems. Yeah, atmospheric. They almost sound like uh, th they sound like a mixture of. It's like a hybrid of strings and synths that are going on. Yeah, so there's that going on as well. Um, there was a part of the synth right here. If you hear. Um, where she says, "When I've got you next to me," it sounds like this this uh, raging guitar that leads into the. I mean, it's not really a raging guitar, but it sounds like this heavy synth that goes into the chorus. This was poorly, poorly um, communicated, <laughs> for lack of a better word, here or emphasized here in these provided stems. That was so weak. Yeah, I'm just... Make it clip. Just make it clip. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna... No, not f minus five. But there's that. That was a cool. That was a little. That was a real cool part. I thought. Uh, going into the uh, second chorus. Who needs to go to sleep when I got you next to me? That was so sick. Um, so there's that as well. And then the the string part. The string part is probably going to be the last part I want to talk about in this video. I love the string writing. Here, let's let's. I'm gonna play the final mix and then we're gonna go revisit the strings again so like it's really difficult to tell what it is when you're hearing the final mix but you can still if you're looking for it you can find it Just those last two parts right here, well written. I love it. That's so perfect. 
here. Let's listen to it again. You can you can hear it. You can hear it. You can really hear it if you're listening for it. They just didn't put it out in front and center. Oh, just such a nice little, just such a nice little part in the song that you don't really, I, I didn't hear it when I was listening just by itself. Um, then that revealed itself, and I really love that part. Um, but that's about it. I think we covered most uh, of the stems that I felt were important. Uh, there are a lot, there were so many, there were just so many to cover, um, given that it was almost 150 audio tracks and that my DAW logic was just ready to give out at any moment when I tried to have everything play at once. Uh, so this is the way that I had to do it. I couldn't play everything all at once, so the way that I had to do it is just to download a final mix and get it into the DAW. Uh, so that's it. This is Physical by Dua Lipa. I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I will be posting more videos like this sometime in the future. Um, and hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in the next video. See ya.